What's up guys? So I'm gonna start technically next week's vlog off tonight because Monday starts on Sunday. <laughs> so I'm gonna, she's just laughing in the, in the background. We introduced her properly in the last video. So I'm gonna record little clips from every day this week. Coaching, training, just starting a new plan, on some new macros as well, and then we're going out on the weekend. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get some clips every single day and put it all into a little bit of a montage. But do you wanna tell, tell the guys how you prepare for your next week? What have you done today? Lots of organizing. Well, I've just finished planning my week. So mm -hmm. plan my whole week, my training, my calls, yeah. my downtime. What's the downtime? My self care. What are you gonna do for that? I'm gonna start yoga this week. And then every night routine is a cup of tea yeah. and some of the best chocolate ever. She's on that dark chocolate now. Orange flavour dark chocolate. Yeah. So good. But yeah, jokes aside, do like to plan the week on the Sunday evening. So I know exactly what I'm doing tomorrow morning as soon as I get up. So tomorrow morning, I'm actually going to the gym a little bit earlier than normal to meet a client and run her over her new training block. And then I'm going to train legs for a change. I used to train legs on Tuesday, but with the new plan that I've got in place now, I'm gonna be doing legs on Monday, upper body on Tuesday. And I think I'll actually work out better because when I do my speed session on Wednesday on the treadmill, I would have had an extra day's rest what I usually do. So in theory, those sessions should be able to perform better, but I'm gonna log off now and log back on in the morning. Now I might try and get some clips in the gym tomorrow of the, of the new of the new training block if I, if I remember to bring the tripod. Good morning people. So as requested, this vlog video is gonna be a montage of my entire week. I might actually just do a couple of days because like Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday and then get it uploaded because I'm keen to increase the upload frequency because I've been getting some good feedback um, from people, especially on the vlog style of stuff and obviously in the vlogs I try to weave in education as well around my own training, business and stuff like that. Um, but basically in the last clip I did mention that I am, I have started with a new coach so I'm kicking off day one with the program today. The goal of working with this coach is to actually build some lean muscle on top of my running so it's going to be very strength and hypertrophy focused. Um, the guy Dave Marsh is a really really good coach. Um, he's very technical in terms of biomechanics, programming, corrective exercise, so he's going to help me fix a few niggles that I still have um, from playing rugby, like I've got a, a bit of a stiff upper back related to some trap issues um, and a little bit of a, a weak right hip as well from when I had an operation when I was younger. So that's the main focus of the training. Um, to be honest, like it seems phenomenal so far, I think I'm going to be working with him for a long time. But all we're focused on doing in the first month is very slow, eccentric, controlled work with the strength movements, correcting some movement inefficiencies, and then with the diet side of things as well, um, just tweaking, refining macros, meal timing, supplementation, things like that. I'm starting off at around maintenance calories, which is just under 3,200 for me for the first couple of weeks to find our feet, and then we'll be increasing calories from there probably. Uh, but I just wanted to run you over the supplements that I'm currently taking. Um, I never used to be a big supplement guy, but I've kind of realized, you know, further I get on in my journey uh, and I'm looking to you know increase my you know performance level both in the gym with my work as well supplementation is really really important for optimizing hormones like testosterone as well so my current stack at the moment um, creatine monohydrate five grams a day I'm taking berberine I'm taking vitamin d3 even though obviously I get a lot of sudden of living in Dubai there's a lot of research to show that you don't actually I think it's like 50% of the population don't absorb vitamin D properly so I'm supplementing with that as well and it has been proven to, to increase testosterone too. I'm also taking zinc um, and what else is there? Tonka Ali which is a natural testosterone booster. So that's what I'm taking at the moment and I'll update if any changes over the next few weeks. Diet wise, um, current macros are 230 protein, 400 carb, 70 fat which I think comes out at 3150 calories now. That's higher protein and higher carb than I've done in the past. Generally, I would have around 80 to 90 grams of fat. So I'm interested to see how my performance is in the gym. Like in theory, it should be a lot, a lot better because the carbohydrate intake is higher. Um, and for example, I'm just getting ready to have my first meal of the day, pre-workout meal, which is going to be high protein, high carb, low fat. Um, meal timing is obviously something I've, well, I have looked at it a lot in the past, and it's obviously something we recommend to clients. Uh, but most of our clients are more just kind of lifestyle, body composition focused, 
not really trying to drive performance as much as I am, but something that I'm going to really going to be cleaning up um, over the next few months is optimizing meal timing and things like that, and seeing the difference between how I performed in the past and how I will perform now. So that's exciting. Um, just some of the movements in my first session today, starting with a, le um, a leg session today, so doing a lot of hip flexor stretches, a lot of unilateral leg work to clear up a little bit of hip, hip imbalance, there's a lot of glute work as well, hyper extensions, hamstrings and things like that. So it's, um, it's high volume in the sense there's a lot of exercises but we're only doing two working sets on the main compound movements which will be interesting because historically I've always done three and four. So it's just a bit of a change but I um, I like investing in myself, I like learning from other coaches. This will be the fourth fitness coach that I've worked with over the last five years. Um, and obviously we're with mentors too, I think it's really important to invest in yourself um, even if you know you're a general population client or your actual coach working in the industry too so that's the plan but um, I wanted to run you over my morning routine as well so 7am I got up at 5.45 I actually just jumped in to, straight into 40 minutes of work so at times I like to get up and just get stuck in because I'm thinking about things so I was just running through client progress, client check-ins for a little bit, answering a few messages um, I'm now going to take my supplements and actually meditate for just a short five minutes before I have my first meal of the day and that's generally my morning routine. Sometimes I do it in a different order, sometimes I do it in a different order to that, it's just the way it is. But essentially it always consists of weighing myself, taking my supplements, getting some morning sun, whether that's sitting here, going for a walk um, and, then, and then doing some work and trying to fit some meditation in too. So always looking to refine and optimize things but that's what is working for me at the moment and I'm going to head to the gym and meet a client in, well she's not an in-person client I train her online but she lives in Dubai so I'm going to run her over her new training block today I would usually train at around half 10 11 so it's earlier today so I'm bringing my meals forward but I've got a long day today I'm going to be up until 9 p.m. on call so 5.45 to 9 p.m. is a long day so I'm going to spread things out um, main priority today client fulfillment check-ins and helping my uh, my social media and my sales team. So that was a bit of a ramble, probably could be more structured, but I've just, well, not just woken up, it was about an hour ago, but yeah, I'm gonna get stuck in and I will, I'll get some clips throughout the day today. It's very, very hot. It's saying 41 degrees on the thing in my car. I'm not sure it's that hot. It's probably about 35. So it is now quarter past one. I've been at the gym since eight o'clock, basically met up with my client, Melissa, ran over her program. Then I did my session, which took about an hour and a half, a little bit longer than I would have liked. The gym is a lot busier in the morning. We don't usually come at this time. Um, and I was just getting used to doing my new training block, different machines and stuff like that. So I think next week I'll <clears throat> be able to get that leg session down to closest like an hour and 10, which is the, the max amount of time I really want to be in the gym, to be honest. Um, I didn't film anything in the gym today because it was, it was rammed this morning, but we usually go at about 11 a.m. So I'm going to bring my tripod tomorrow and video some videos for the vlog and also to send over to my coach as well. That's something we do with all our new clients as well as we really encourage that they send us over form clips, um, generally the main compound movements in the first two weeks just so that we can help them with that, obviously provide a lot of value and clear up any inefficiencies and maybe even some imbalances that are gonna be present there. I then sunbathed for a little bit, reviewed some messages in my Instagram for my team member that helps me on there. Then I did a sauna only for 10 minutes, showered, did a bit of work, had my, I guess my lunch, which is my eggs and sourdough which I will probably insert after this clip. And then I did about another hour of work, just going over client progress, doing some client programming um, and planning for what I need to do later today. But as I mentioned, I think I mentioned earlier on, I'm on gonna be on calls until probably 9.45 tonight. So I'm in no rush to do things today. Um, I've already got a good chunk of work done. I now have probably eight to 10 Loom videos to send over to clients for check-in feedback. I need to post content on Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube Shorts, but that's all pretty much pre-planned already. That won't take me long, it's just actually posting it. And then I have these calls and I have two consultation calls and a catch-up call with a client. So Monday is absolutely flat out. Obviously it's spread over the entire day, so I don't need to work 
too quickly um, and too intensely, but yeah, it's a busy day. And then same again tomorrow, to be honest, calls of the team tomorrow. Um, and then I have, I think four calls in the evening tomorrow as well. So by Wednesday, I'm gonna be ready for a little bit of a lighter day of work, but that's just the way it is. Um, weekend is not as hectic as it used to be to be fair so my biggest work days are sunday to some extent monday tuesday and then friday check-ins wednesday and thursday is more focused on content going out the videographers and stuff like that um this is a system that well this is the setup that works for me at the moment um i have tried different things but this works well and i found that for me personally trying to take the afternoon off on a Wednesday and almost all of Saturday off works very well for me. I, I just find if I'm trying to work seven days a week, I just I just burn out, I become unfulfilled. So I think taking those bits of time off during the week is enough to keep me motivated. But yeah, I'm gonna go home now, do some more check-ins and have a call with one of my team at half two in an hour's time. just in the communal workspace in my building, doing the, well, the second last work block of the day. So <clears throat> I have a couple of couple more check-ins to send over to clients. I've just been doing loads of programming. That light is so light. Uh, updating a few things for people. I like to send over feedback like the day of or the day after I've made amendments to their plans so that they understand the changes that I've made and why I've made them, usually it will be to do with their training and nutrition, moving them from different phases to the next blocks. Um, I have a catch up call with a client who <clears throat> is going through a lot at the moment, business owner in Portugal, mental, mental schedule, loads of traveling. So we actually just took the decision last week to just pull training for a week to let him get over this crazy workload. Um, and this call is gonna be a realignment call, building him back up. Um, I think the problem sometimes when you're coaching and working with high performers like that is they're so dialed in with every other aspect of their life apart from their fitness usually with their work and stuff when they see themselves drop from like let's say five sessions a week to three they think they're failing um so it's my job as a coach to get across to him that you know he can achieve his goal of weight loss and fat loss while doing just three sessions a week so we're gonna put a much simpler plan in place for him for the rest of the year and then I have a consultation call and then I have an hour and a half off to have dinner, post some content, and then I have my final consultation call of the day, which I believe is 9 p.m. So Monday is is busy, but it's good. It's good to catch up with clients. Um, but as I say, by Wednesday, I'm gonna be ready for a more, a more chill day of work and some downtime. So I'm gonna crack on with this and then I'll try and film what I eat later on, which is the same thing at pretty much every evening apart from the weekend, steak rice and eggs. now Tuesday afternoon guys and it is fucking hot I think it's about 35 degrees 4 p.m. so I've actually just got back from Wellfit which is the gym that I train at pretty much every single day I get my lunch there go to the gym sauna usually get some steps on the treadmill just had a call with the team the coaches to catch up with them run over client progress and then I have now have three client catch-up calls with the clients that I coach one is a guy in finance in New York. Another guy is a guy in Colorado. He's in, uh, he works in a really, really big tech company. And the third one as well is with an entrepreneur about my age in Dubai who signed up um, about a month ago. Well, he's in, he's in week four of his program now. So I really like to get on calls with everyone, review progress before we move into the next block of training. Um, generally I try and get a call in with each client about once a month, but if they need anything in the middle of that, obviously I'll jump on a call with them. I think it's so, so important and it really does uh, obviously result in them getting better results and also really, really helps our attention as well. I think the more that you can build a relationship with clients, it really, really helps the business in the long run. 
even though it does obviously take time out of your day, it's much better than trying to bring new clients on and much rather just keep the ones that we have because um, working with some amazing people at the moment, especially the people that I'm working with, just the people that I always kind of dreamt of working and I think that's something that my first mentor said to me, you know, you're not going to be able to coach your ideal client um, from day one and as I've progressed through my career, been online coaching for around four and a half years now, I feel like the certainly the clients that I'm working with myself are other people that I would have wanted to work with at the start which is great and they tend to be high performing individuals in those corporate jobs a lot of them in the in the US now which is crazy um, I think 50% of our client base is in, in America now which is mad but just something as well that I'm kind of going through at the moment so I think with business, anyone will tell you who's been in the game for a while, there's going to be, be a lot of fluctuations, you're going to have good weeks, you're going to have bad weeks. This week is, obviously it's only Tuesday, but it's a slow week in terms of booking in consultation calls, sales calls, um, and sometimes that's just the way it is. So it's at this point where you just have to keep going and not change anything, provided that you're obviously doing the right things. And I think in the past, I would have get, I would have got not necessarily emotional, but I would have let this kind of get to my head and actually pull back and take my foot off the gas. Whereas actually this is probably the time where you just need to keep going and maybe even put your foot on the gas. So trying to move, sorry, try and remove emotion from the process and just keep doing what you're doing. If you've got that proof of concept and what you're doing has worked in the past, which our, you know, our sales system has, we've just got to keep going. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm going to insert a clip from me training today. I haven't been great at videoing in the gym because I've been getting into the new program and just trying to get accustomed to the sessions, but hopefully I'll be able to get a couple of clips next week. But I think I'm actually going to wrap this vlog up either today or tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is my lighter day of work where I'm going to go to the beach in the morning and do a speed session. And I'll probably wrap it up there because it's getting on and I actually want to increase the frequency of uploading these videos rather than putting out like a really long one once a week. I might try and do two week but we'll see how it goes but yeah I'm gonna jump into these calls now right people I'm actually gonna end this one here because I'm currently editing it at the moment and I realized it's almost 20 minutes long so I'm gonna cut it here successful vlog to start the week and I will try I will vlog some of the rest of the week as well so tomorrow Wednesday as I've mentioned many times in this video is a a lighter day of work I still get the basics done speaking to the team speaking to clients um, I don't have any calls within tomorrow which would be quite nice um, I'm gonna get my interval run done at the morning um, done at the morning fuck me I'm tired done in the morning at the beach probably or the canal I'll see what the traffic's like in the morning. Um, so speed session there, and then take the afternoon off, do some Amisha, and then pick up again properly on Thursday. So that's the way that we're structuring the week at the moment. Big, big efforts, Monday, Tuesday with work, a little bit of downtime on Wednesday, big efforts on Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday as well, and then most of Saturday off. But yeah, gonna wrap it up here. Catch you in the next one. If you haven't subscribed and you've made it this far, I'm surprised that you've made it this far, so make sure to subscribe for future uploads.